Hi guys, it's Chloe and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the signs and symptoms that I had for PTSD. And if you haven't seen my first video about how I got diagnosed with PTSD, I will either link that in the bio or there's a little I button at the top that I could link it with as well. So I highly recommend you watch that one first and then this one will make more sense to you. And I can't wait to show this to you guys because I feel like it's a very important topic. So on that note, we're going to get started. Pause. Now, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am no doctor. Meaning that this is just my advice and it is not medical advice. So with that disclaimer, on to the video. So this is all going to be kind of scattered. I apologize for that. But for those of y'all that have been living under a rock or haven't watched the first video, I got PTSD from literally everything I went through spina bifida related. And on top of that, there was a day surgery I got my fifth grade year that was unrelated to my spina bifida, but went horribly wrong and gave me PTSD, which I'll talk about at a later time. But it's just easier to say that I, everything's spina bifida related versus having to say everything spina bifida related plus a non-spina bifida related surgery. But that's technically literally what it is. But at two and a half after my spina bifida surgery, you couldn't get me to go past Emory University, any hospital, or our first apartment that we lived in without me sobbing and shaking uncontrollably. And I'd end up sleeping with my parents that night and I'd end up being okay. So for instance, this was before like GPS on your phone was a thing, but whenever my parents had to take a specific route, if they knew like we were gonna pass by a hospital or the old apartment or whatever, then they would avoid it and go a different way. And that went on until my sixth grade year. And I have also had like other people, I've had family members, both immediate and extended that have been in the hospital that I visited. And afterwards I became, you know, I would cry and shake uncontrollably. Like same symptoms that I got if I were to pass by a hospital. And it wasn't because I hated to see them go through that. It just brought back flashbacks of my own stuff that I went through. And my kindergarten year, cause this is one prime example where for me, my PTSD didn't just have to happen in a strict medical setting. So when I was in kindergarten, one of the things that we did on the first day of school was the teacher gave us a tour around the school with our classmates. And one of the places we stopped at was the nurse's office. And you can probably see how this is gonna play out or what was gonna happen for all of y'all that have PTSD or know about it. But I remember we all had to sit outside and we were brought in one by one and the nurse had on gloves and she was checking us for what I assumed to be licensed scabies, but I could be wrong. Was I was the last person to go in and I'm pretty sure my classmates either were scared to death or thought that I was getting murdered because I was screaming when the nurse was touching me. And the teacher tried her best to calm me down, but she couldn't. I had flashbacks of the surgery and just flashbacks about that in general. Even now as an adult, I've gone numb I have anxiety. Another thing is, is that my like PTSD, like I didn't sob or shake uncontrollably after we left like the doctors or physical therapy or occupational therapy. However, I had to be held down for procedures and that went well until like I left high school. I was also afraid of getting blood drawn, getting shots, and being touched by them. Another thing I did was I reenacted what happened with my dolls. 
which is definitely a symptom of PTSD. And as an adult, now that I'm going back to clinic, and I could have very well experienced these like symptoms in childhood, I just, if they did happen, I probably don't remember unless if I specifically state otherwise. But I do have flashbacks. Um, there are some triggering things. So like for instance, I, my physical therapist when I was younger always used to put these green paper shorts on me. A couple weeks ago on Facebook, I saw an ad for a pair of green shorts and that triggered me, but it was just triggering. It didn't really set off anything. It just brought the flashback of me having to wear those. And in July of 2021, I went up to clinic and I had a break in between appointments and I took a nap in the hotel room and I had a nightmare. I couldn't remember what it was about, but the hospital where I went that day was involved. And then we flew back home and we went up to our cabin. We had a cleaning lady at the time and the cleaning lady used a similar disinfectant to what was used at the hospital. And I got sick to my stomach. Back in February 2022, I went up again to meet with my specialist and by the end of the trip, I was crying and shaking and I had to hold it in for the flight home because I didn't want to get kicked off the airplane because I had PTSD. That went on for a couple of days. And then afterwards, the next time I hopped on an airplane was in May for, for my brother's college graduation. And it wasn't until I got on the airplane that I got triggered. My fifth grade year when I got that surgery that went horribly wrong, I remembered screaming in the wake up room that I wanted to go home, which was PTSD related. And I went to school the next day, but then I would just like immediately go upstairs into my parents' room and watch TV and sob. And that went on for a couple of weeks as well. And when I go up to all my Hershey trips, by the end of the like towards the end of the trip, cause I booked these all by myself. So I know when it's gonna end. But towards the end of the trip, I get very antsy. And I think I told my mom a couple of times that I wanted to go home, but that's it. Those are all the signs and symptoms. I have a PTSD. And I thank you guys so much for watching the video and bye.